Hey guys, we have another Colder Bite challenge. So this one is from hard difficulty, blackjack highest. Uh, this challenge uh, will be determining the highest cards within a, a hand in blackjack. Again, sometimes like when it's happening uh, like these challenges, I have seen like being in both sides of occasions there is like, yeah, you don't play cards, you have no idea. So yeah, again, if it's like assign it to you, most probably you have no luck, just really figure out this one. Oh, again, just if it's kind of in person saying, hey, like if you're not into gamble, not into cards, so most probably it will be okay to even ask interviewer if he, he or she has any other alternatives. But yeah. Uh, moving kind of the whole interview process aside, we have kind of uh, still a coding challenge. So yeah, let's rock. Let's begin. Uh, here's the function a blackjack highest. Take parameter being passed which uh, will be array of numbers and letters representing blackjack cards. No, uh, numbers in array will be written out. So example, you may have two, three, ace, king. Two, three, ace, king. Okay, oh, two, three, all right. Um, uh, a full list of possible uh, uh, four strings, two, three, four, uh, five, eight, queen, queen, king, ace. So yeah, definitely all cards present there. Uh, uh, your program should output uh, below, above, or black jack. Uh, uh, significantly, if you uh, have black jack numbers, add up to 21. Uh, or not, the highest card in your hand is relation uh, to whether or not you have blackjack. If array uh, contains an ace, but hand will go above 21, you must count the ace as one. Kind of usual behavior out there with ace, so uh, ace so means 11 or 1. Uh, you must always try to stay above, uh, below, sorry, a 21 mark. So using array uh, uh, mention above, output uh, should be uh, uh, below king. Uh, didn't below king, okay. Uh, ace is counted as one in this example because uh, it, if it wasn't, you would be uh, above the 21 mark. Yeah, okay. So, for example, we have 4, 10, king. The output should be uh, above king. So, yeah, we will definitely because we got 4, 10, and 10 means it's 24. If you have tie between 10 and a face card in your hand, return the face card uh, as the highest card. Uh, if you have multiply faced card, uh, order importance uh, jack, queen, king. Okay, so we have kind of order. So, for example, if we throw in uh, 4, ace, and 10, in this case we have 4, 1, and 10, 15, so it's below 10, and we're saying that it's all below 10. Okay, and we have ace and queen, yeah, blackjack, ace, so we got it. Let's getting started. Alright, so yeah, let's do piece by piece. So we'll uh, define a card, uh, card value as an object within a keys as card uh, names and value, corresponding numerical values. So again, just make sure that we uh, are good here. Two, three, four, and like we remember it was 10, and we said like, hey, priority goes from 10 to jack, because they equally, so order will matter here, and 11. Uh, so, uh, 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 again, we will uh, treat it as 11 by default, so it will be additional logic when we kind of change from 11 to 1 out there. So, and after that, the majority of logic will be in here, we will calculate total value of cards. So, total value will start from 0, has ace, 
this again that case that we will be uh, running out there so uh, by default we're saying false and highest card we start from now so we're going through the list of our initial uh, array so again as you remember it's just a string and uh, we will uh, we would again there is no additional verification here uh, at all so we will assume that list are legit so again we don't need to again do any kind of exceptions and such can that trust the system uh, so again uh, we're receiving so and using our card value uh, mapping we will get uh, we'll get value by keys so uh, we receive it and again we will be marking uh, uh, that if uh, particular is uh, ace we will uh, we will mark it okay we will check that we say hey we have ace uh, out there and again we can have more than two uh, one ace by the way that i'm not sure if it's our logical covers this or we need to uh, so and even if we need to at the very first time uh, one will be acting as still 11 one will be acting as one so and here we go through the logic if uh, our highest card is not uh, 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 not null so or our uh, uh, card value card value are bigger than card value it's highest and again every time we will be reassigning uh, the, the, the value as a highest card here according to our uh, logic so this one and uh, the next piece that we need to uh, introduce if total uh, value is above 21 and there is ace treat uh, it as a 1 instead of 11 so as you can see okay we blow on this one and it's only will trigger and uh, when it we have ace so in 21 so total value we just decreasing by 10 in this case and after that we will do the kind of uh, main return statement we will determine output base it again because we have quite custom and uh, kind of three-way output so we say in blackjack hey we ace it we all get 21 below and we saying we saying highest card and above highest card that we de define it below so yeah let's see what we end up with so hold on, let me clear the logs here uh, below uh, ace and we said hold on so again our logic treated as a ace it's still 11 so in our case ace should be the highest one but because it's converted to one in this case we really need to degrade this to uh, to 10 Yeah, we need to change the logic uh, and take to consideration it has we need to kind of adjust our highest uh, after battling with that logic so here's a simplified one so so we got the highest one so it's kind of minus one just in case uh, uh, so after that we have a highest card nothing so total zero ace found false in this case uh, uh, we go so again, we have our array, every uh, with ace at the beginning. So after that, we have again appropriate values associated with it. So we run through the our initial array, and after that through the cards. So we get the total and highest numbers. So we also do additional logic here if ace found, so this is a different one, and total is minus, so it's different from logic with it instead of subtract. In this case, we actually uh, adding up uh, uh, when it's needed and saying that highest card is ace. I believe that's kind of main logic to rewrite. Uh, we will kind of probably click with you guys as well. So end of that again as usual we have we could do better kind of with this but again three ways returns again below above and blackjack 
uh, again, usually blackjack, it's the latest one, so I like when it's this at the, uh, at the end, because there's most cases is this or this will kick in. So yeah, let's try to run our um, uh, test, uh, our test cases. We good here, and let's submit. Let's keep running. Complete, complete. So, and we got test point, test 10 out of 10 uh, for completion and from time perspective, I guess we didn't get extra points here. So, yeah, we, so yeah, we got it. So as we can see there is majority of people resolve this under 10 minutes and you have all the breakdown and here's our solution. And looks like yeah, all test cases were corrected, so means we did, uh, we did it uh, all good. So yeah, guys, that was Blackjack highest uh, solution. It was uh, uh, hard difficulties in this time. So again, let me know if any questions or any other implementation you want to see. Thank you for watching and see you next one.